so much for joining us today at the Pleated Piper brought to you by airfilters.com. We're really happy to have you. I'm Ashley and this is Lee. And today we're going to be discussing um, her most recent um, blog that um, it's about accent colors that can make a room go pop like the weasel. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about it. Um, some of us are always trying to find unique ways to update our house or, you know, just one room in our yes. home. Um, whether, you know, your blog focuses more on like adding an accent color to a particular wall mm -hmm. um, to make it pop. The first color that you used in your blog or talked about in your blog was sea green. Mm -hmm. um, where would you use a color like that in your home? Well, this kind of, this blog was really fun to do because mm -hmm. I like to be creative yeah. in my own home. Mm -hmm. um, but I like sea green because I'm from the coast and so I like coastal colors. Right. And so sea green kind of reminds me of a beach. Right. And so I was thinking that if you painted a wall mm -hmm. that was a sea green color, mm -hmm. you can use any kind of natural colors or mm -hmm. neutral colors right. to tie in with it. Brown. Brown's mm -hmm. easy to move in right. that. So um so that's where I kind of like the sea green idea. Right, I agree. I mean, being you know, it kind of brings home to life in your or it does. your your air your environment into your home, and it, and it really works with open windows, yeah. and open rooms. Yeah, that sounds really pretty. Yeah. Okay, orange. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I know that this is a tricky color to use in a home. Yeah. I've tried it; it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. um, how would you incorporate this color into your own home? Well, orange isn't one of my favorite colors, um, but. When I came across one of these pictures that I saw, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, this is something I could totally do. Mm -hmm. And it brings a warm environment. It's kind of like a crisp autumn orange. Right. And really you can, like again, brown. Um, but another thing that's really cool to use with orange is like, um, is prints, mm -hmm. zebra print, leopard yeah. print, anything like that. It doesn't have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be exotic. Right. But, um, but you can definitely bring and tie those two patterns together. Right. Zebra print. Yeah. <laughs> you can wear orange with this. Well, and even jewel tones, like right. purples and oranges exactly. look really cool together. Yeah. So that's kind of neat, kind yeah. of like an Eastern feel, yeah. that orange. Yeah, and it's coming in more style now. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. So that's cool. Okay, um, you talked about odd walls in a home. I know yeah. that everybody has an odd wall you know I have one in my bathroom I mean they're you know an odd wall can pop up anywhere in a hallway or in a right. foyer area so you talked a little bit about um, those those walls so what could you do with something like a wall that's smack in the middle of a room gray and I know that sounds kind of boring mm -hmm. but um, like a gray or neutral color and um, won't make it stand out right but it'll kind of bring your home together right and even adding like little pieces of furniture to it maybe a mirror right on the wall or maybe like a vase or something like that to kind of yeah. tie everything together cool okay yeah, yeah that's a good mm -hmm. idea um, okay and one of your titles in your blog one of the titles of um, one of the sections was really cool it was um, punch out purple right so like how could you use this color you know in your home to really make a statement right Purple is one of my favorite colors, but you have to be careful with it because you can either go too light or mm -hmm. too dark and it be kind of mesh, doesn't mesh right. well together. But this one particular picture that I, again, came across was really neat because it wasn't the wall that was purple. It was actually the furniture that was a deep purple. Cool. And so the wall did have a little bit of like um, a hueish purple mm -hmm. to it, but it was kind of more brown. Mm -hmm. And so if you kind of tie all that in together, then um, it just, it makes it a really neat room. Right. And you can do that with hot pink too. Even right. Even though it's, it's you know, not your favorite thing to add to a room, but like one splash mm -hmm. of a picture that's hot pink or right. whatever. It's really kind of neat to kind of use that color as an accent. Right, yeah, like an accent piece. It doesn't right. have to necessarily be a wall. It doesn't have to be a wall. It's yeah. A piece. And then yeah. any of your favorite colors, if you find the right hue, you really could use on an accent yeah. wall. Any of your, you know, be it hot pink Absolutely. or orange or purple, the ones right. we've talked about that are more difficult. Right. Okay, what about for guys? I mean, because guys, you know, I mean, I have two boys in my home and they, mm -hmm. My oldest wanted a black bedroom, which oh, was goodness. really a challenge. <laughs> so what can you, what ideas can you give us or suggestions? Can you give us on some tips right. that we can use for guys? I wouldn't necessarily suggest black. Yeah. It's kind of hard to work with. Very hard but, to work with. <laughs> but um, plaid. Right. You know, you don't think about, ooh, plaid. You wear that as a shirt. No, you really can't. Mm -hmm. And so you can put it on the wall. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of your room be kind of neutral. And then also what I really liked about this is that you can add black and white and gray into mm -hmm. your plaid wall and it's mm -hmm. really kind of neat. That sounds cool. And to have it maybe behind your bedroom mm -hmm. was, would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's yeah. a great idea. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much, Lee. Sure. I think we all got a lot of great ideas. Yeah, good. And if you guys are interested in more ideas um, on accent walls that can make your room pop like a weasel, then please check out the link below. 
and follow that link and sh there is plenty of information in the blog and we hope that you do visit, visit the blog and we're really happy to be with you and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much.